Howdy folks. So today I'm doing a keyboard build. <clears throat> um, I've got like a particular problem and uh, basically I only use keyboards that are a hundred and like four or eight keys that full size. I over many 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 years have built up muscle memory and I just need to use you know the extra keys versus the smaller size keyboard. So what we got here is one of the few on the market 108 key hot swap Bluetooth mechanical keyboards with RGB. This is a Skylong, let's look here, GK108S. So like I said, this uh, the S has Bluetooth. I think the just 108 without S has uh, just USB only. And uh, so let's look at this. This keyboard comes with, got a little instruction manual here. Got you know the uh, Bluetooth things and uh, keyboard shortcuts and um, I believe there's software that I'm gonna need to load and a bunch of other jazz. Chinese and English, cool. So there's Chinese and English on the instructions, which is actually kind of nice. Um, what else do we get? So we get um, a key puller and switch puller. Pretty nice, actually. And we get a USB whoops, C, USB C to A cable, um, wrapped, fabric wrapped. Cool. All right. So, what I intend to do is do my first uh, 108 key hot swap build. Now. <clears throat> Let's just go over a couple things. I've kind of pulled this out of the box and just checked it out a little bit. But um, so the top casing is rattling with the plate. Now, obviously, this is a okay. So look, it says a metal um, plate, hot swap PCB. Um, I want to say these are Gatoron, Gatoron stabilizers, but I'm not 100% sure. But they certainly don't wiggle around in the sockets, however, time will tell. They are pre-lubed. I see a ton of lube in the uh, little uh, spaces in here. And um, bottom of it looks like this. Got our USB-C connection right in here. A lot of QR code things. Got two feet levels here. Like I got a bunch of screws I gotta pull out. So that's gonna be something I need to fix. Now I'm not super picky about sort of like, you know, about the dampening factor. Obviously this is a plastic build versus a metal, but like finding a 108 key Full metal build is nearly impossible at this point, um, so it's kind of a unicorn. Got a little Skylong logo right here. And uh, yeah, so you gotta fix this. Um, just, so this is my preliminary video. I'm gonna do lots of modding to this, but uh, what I got here is some Aco X Gatoron orange switches. These are tactile that are prelude. And um, I actually tried these out on uh, Aco. Uh, what was it? The it's like the Vaporwave style keyboard. So um, these are tactile, but not super heavy. And um, well, I kind of like them actually. So I intend to you know fill up this keyboard with these guys. And then uh, as far as the caps go, bought these a while ago. I'm a huge Aiko fan, but um, what I got here is, this is actually a Cooler Master board that I can't stand. It's just, whoops, janky, horrible, uh, cherry blues, or sorry, browns. But uh, the uh, keycap set is Aiko, uh, what do I want to say, natural or retro? I think retro? I think they're retros. Um, they're PBD, and they have really nice fonts. And uh, I actually love the key set, so I intend to put these on here. Now, <clears throat> so, 
I'm going to do something a little bit funky on this thing, which I've been wanting to do, and I just figured, you know, most people, when they want to dampen a keyboard, um, well, let's just go into this real quick. So we got some... Uh, course don't break everything battery and the keyboard connector USB and I'm lacking nails right now we'll just turn that down a hair Jeez. All right, what do we see here? Is it like Loctite? Weird. No Bluetooth module up there. Controller here. Looks good, really. All right, so here's what I intend to do. This plate is basically plastic flimsiness sadness. So we got this, which is a silicone mold making rubber kit. And uh, what this has is
All right. Okay, I'm in the final stretch here, so um, I screwed this little thing up. I like it. So, Skylong GK108S. Um, I will get into the Bluetooth functionality on my next video, but this is my build video. Um, the weight has gone up, like it's literally like five pounds right now. This thing is an absolute beast. It's heavier than that one by far. It's incredibly heavy. And actually, it makes it feel more. Whoa. Well, I'm not gonna, I, don't, I don't twist my keyboards when I'm using them, so cool. Um, oh, a little, little clank in there. Might have to fix that. get on that and I'll fix those but um overall so 90 bucks this thing costs hot swap bluetooth rgb um, I'm gonna give it a extremely high rating uh, this is like a unicorn you can't find these anywhere at all except EPO maker and like AliExpress like one or two out of like a million keyboards so overall um, I love it it's gonna take a little work or a lot of work but what you're left over with if you are a full 108 key person, you are left over with a, an amazing, an amazing board. So uh, highly recommended and it's gonna take a lot of work. Thanks a lot folks, have a great day.